Hey, is this at sketchbook edition? Probably. Anyway, let's go to it. Okay, so on the first page I as usually have my goals for the sketchbook and I didn't add the finish um, date, but well, you know what it is. So I started first the kittens and the color mixing kind of. And you can see here that I used three more most kind of popular colors like violet, blue and rose in mixing, but it didn't turn out. Anyway, I really like this one. Um, Bobo Vikings from The Hobbit and this is the sketch, the sketch, the ones that I want to cut out of the sketchbook and put it on my wall as a reference for my next pieces because this is the actual style that I'm moving towards to and this is what I want to achieve in all of my drawings. I don't know whether you understand <laughs> what I mean but for me it makes perfect sense. Okay, uh, this was the drawing, the sketch for my piece in gouache and watercolor sketchbook, Canson Excel Mix Media. You've probably seen that before in my channel anyway. Um, this is the sketched for, sketches for tattoo. And this little rabbit reminds me of the Jaw Cooper style. Basically, that was what I want to achieve. Here we're searching for the Genzi face because sometimes I can imagine a character but I don't know what which features I actually want to accomplish. So I was searching through the sketchbook for the perfect Richard Genzi face. This is by the way the characters from the Raven Cycle books. And here is the spoiler for my next gouache piece. And yeah, moving, moving on. I really, really hate this sketchbook for the paper quality. Moving through it to the end, I, I just couldn't draw. Uh, I ripped out <laughs> probably four or five pages because I was so impatient with it. As you can see, it's really transfer everything. Even the pencil sketches are shown on the other side. And I, I, just, I just didn't. I just couldn't stand it much longer. Okay, this is the sketch for my dusty design piece. One more sketch in the style that I want to draw all of my sketches in. And I'm really, really proud of this one, but ah, uh, I need to incorporate this more into all of my sketches. Lucy drawings as well, you probably can uh, recall this piece from my sketchbook, gouache sketchbook. Okay. And as well through the sketchbook, I was searching for the solid line and line weight and how to use it. So here, for example, you can see I have did kind of five, six lines on one thing. And here the line weight is just random thing. <laughs> it's not even, if lineways is just random lines and ran random places but here for example I like it very much because you can see how for example this is one solid line instead of 500 lines or two lines or 15 lines <laughs> so I like this but for the sketches I use both both lines I try to use this more because this is some this is like the new new ground for me this is something I I'm not good at but this one works when I'm just trying to put down the idea okay I found my Genzi yay and the songs that I was listening to at that period I like to put you know like um, random phrases and quotes into my sketchbook more than random stuff like <laughs> stickers or something um it's okay if you do i i just don't nina dobrev birds genzi and raven i don't like this one ah. um probably i should buy a fixative <laughs> because you know, oh my god all of the graphite just 
on this page from this page and this is just awful yeah this one I really like as well so I will think on buying a fixative for graphite because I really like drawing in graphite as much as I like I, I like drawing with every media actually and this was the rough sketch for my Achilles piece you, you can see that on my Instagram Okay, and yeah, <laughs> drawing birds, drawing animals, um, oh yes, finally to my favorite part of the sketchbook, I somehow <laughs> in really late nights managed to do the colored lines. I am so in love with how the colors transferring from one to another and how it in all creates the kind of color palette. So those two, this is probably one of the best pages in the sketchbook as well, if not the best. Oh, and from here I was going through the art I can say it was art block, but it was art struggle, definitely, because everything I draw, I just, I just, it doesn't seem right. So I started to do the sketches for the art book that I'm working on. Not an art book, but actually illustrations for the thick. Okay. Yeah, you can see how much I was struggling. Like the hair here, the head is too big the neck and the head angle is just uh and the posture is okay anyway i see the bad size of my heart um and try to do it with kind of markers it's not the actual markers i don't know how they call it i'll show you later but they do transfer and i hate it i like this one it's on the side of the difficult head angles for me and I think I made it okay. This one turned into my sneaky boy piece in gouache and I really like how those turned out. And that by the way is the benefit of the regular pencils like the graphite pencils and the color pencils you know the ones that you can um, put on the angle and draw really wide strokes right and this is just the concept for my oc and that was the time when i decided to go back to my deans and sketch sketch <laughs> my sketch <laughs> my cast sketches because I haven't drawn them for a while and everything was turning out just bad and finally managed to draw Dean that I liked but Cass, 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 it, I just, I just want to go back to him and but everything just turned out awful. Dean quite okay but Cass is my real struggle right now. I'm trying to sketch him like 500 times per day to get back to him Okay, and this is my 100 um, Tense or things challenge. It is actually 100 things challenge, but I turned it into 100 Hands challenge and I'll probably do the same with feet and boots and um, Some random things because it's really really helpful and you can see only that it starts from 51 to 70 because I was on the trip and I don't didn't have the whole A4 um, usual regular printer paper pieces with me <laughs> that I used to draw the anatomy on. Some of the sketches from the trip. 
I, I'm not actually the person who can draw while traveling because I find that it's difficult for me to find the time between <laughs> rushing to some beautiful place or taking a picture of some beautiful staying things and yeah staying for four, five or six minutes in one place and sketching one thing is really not my thing right now <laughs> but I hope I'll do more live drawing sketchings when I'll be traveling in the future but right now it's just doesn't work for me and by the way this page is when I was trying to draw people with white smiles or opened mouth because I noticed that most of my drawings have the closed mouth in them like not those ones probably the first ones and yeah this is it I done this page yesterday and this was a little bit early and that's it this sketchbook was from tiger shop I'm so glad I'm done with you <laughs> okay guys hope it was interesting for you because I definitely saw the improvement throughout this sketchbook and I'm really really glad that I'm moving on to the next one I hope you're sketching I hope you're drawing I hope you're arting in any way and take care carry on Goodbye.